Hey, it's Minnesota Sharks, Ace of Vegas here. Hope you're doing well. We're here at the MGM Grand and we are starving, so we're gonna go ahead and see if their buffet is still worth it. Let's go get started. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Before we get started, I just wanted to give a special shout out to our Patreon members that help keep us independent and growing. More on that later. All right, Spinners and Sharks, here we are at the MGM Grand Buffet over here. I've got my uh, MLive Rewards card, so we're going to go ahead and put that to work. Do our two-for-one credits with my Vegas and have a little bit of uh, brunch. Let's get started. All right, Spinners and Sharks, here we are. We're starting off with a drink over here. We usually just start with a little bit of cranberry juice over here. It's a good time. All the drinks are self-serve here, so you're just getting silverware from the uh, from the servers that are coming around. But they got the agua frescas over here. I don't see, they do have pineapple, pear cucumber, mango and strawberry hibiscus, so that's not too bad. And then of course they got the Coca-Cola freestyle machines. The juice machine is over here as well. Then they've got milk and they've got coffee. So they've got the whole nine yards, 2% chocolate milk, all that jazz. So that's the beverage station. They have a matching one on the other side of the buffet too. And then going in on this side is where they have the basics. So it's a brunch buffet. All right, Spanish and Sharks, so here we are. We are actually in the buffet. Stuffed bell peppers and they got meatloaf, mashed potatoes and brown gravy. So this is the brunch buffet. So it's a little heavier than normal. They also, oh, we go straight into chili relleno and then the veggies. Looks like they got uh, pork tamales over here as well. And then the uh, pork uh, green salsa over here, the uh, pork verde. And then when we come over here, we get the wine and cheese plates too. So it's the black forest ham. Looks like we got some cheddar over here too. I don't know what to start with. There's so much good stuff. We got salami, pepperoni. There is so much to pick have to have a look at the carvery. Oh, they got a custom omelet station over here too. We'll have to have a look at the omelet bar. Let's look at the omelet bar first before we make our choices. Let's see, they got scrambled eggs. So they got the usual scrambled eggs and bacon and all that. Sneak behind here, pardon us. And then this is the omelet station over here too. So they're making some serious omelets. Looks pretty good. And then they got a... Oh, sorry about that, sir. Yeah, after you. Oh, man. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Salad bar. Okay, so this is a salad bar. So it looks like we've got all the usuals. Sour cream, pickled carrots. This is not a salad bar. These are the toppings. <laughs> oh, there it is. All right, so we got some dressings over here. We got the red onions and the radish. All the basic stuffs for salads. All the usual fixings. Cucumbers. We got mixed greens, so you can make your own custom salad. Looks like I got chicken strips back here, too, so that's not too bad. And a Caesar salad, too. Okay, and then if you really want breakfast cereal for whatever reason, you're at a buffet, you want breakfast cereal, though, I suppose you can have that, too. And then here's another station full of plates over here, so don't forget to grab your plate. You can sanitize your hands beforehand. They got the Purell, so that's always a really nice feature. Good to see that. I think that's the thing that should stay in buffets. And then coming back over here, it looks like this, uh, is this the waffle station? This is the waffle station. So they've got peanut butter, it looks like we're getting some more jam in here and jelly, cantaloupes. Oh, pardon me, ladies. Actually, I should start from the other side, really. All right, so let's see what we have on this other side over here. It looks like biscuits and gravy. Corned beef hash, and uh, is that chicken fried steak? Yeah, chicken fried steak in the back over there. Uh, oh, this is normally the pasta station over here. So that opens at 10. So you can make your own custom pastas over here. So they got meatballs, and then they got all the sauces over here. Looks like you can get either marinara sauce, or you'll be able to get Alfredo sauce. I'll have to see if I can get a snap of that later. And then it's a custom yogurt station on the other side over here. So there's cottage cheese if you just want to make cottage cheese. Otherwise, they have strawberry and vanilla yogurt down here. And then regular granola. And that's a loud noise. I'm going to have Greek yogurt too and all of the fruit. So they got watermelon and pineapple and all the usual. So fresh cut fruit over here. 
for you to enjoy. And that is a good portion of the yogurt station. So let's go ahead and move on and check out some more stuff. All right, and on the other end, we've got some bagels. Uh, there's a twist tie in the bagel over here, so not at its best, pardon me, sir. And then we got some smoked salmon, so if you want bagels and lox over here, you can go ahead and whip that up. All right, and we found the most important portion of the buffet here, the carvery. So this is where you're going to get all the premium meats. This is what you want to load up on and get your uh, $40 worth out of it, or $36.99, whichever you want to call it, $36.99 before tax here on the weekends. So, yeah, let's go ahead and jump on in here and get some carvery. I doing good. Um, let's go ahead and, what do you got? Roast beef, roast turkey, glazed... Let's have one of each. One each? Yeah, sir. All right, so we got that glazed ham over here. Right on, thanks, sir. And now for the roast turkey. Lovely slice of roast turkey, thank you. And then we got the roast beef coming off over here, and you can add some cranberry sauce or au jus horseradish. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, looks like they got all the good fixings for it. I doing good. Um, let's go ahead. And, what do you got? Roast beef, roast turkey, glazed. Ham. Let's have one of each. One each? Yeah, sir. All right, so we got that glazed ham over here, right on, thanks, sir. And now for the roast turkey. Lovely slice of roast turkey, thank you. And then we got the roast beef coming off over here, and you can add some cranberry sauce or au jus horseradish. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, looks like they got all the good fixings for it, so. There we go, let's take it on out. All right, and it looks like the next part is just breakfast fixings over here. So it looks like we got eggs, uh, bacon, pork sausage, and some more uh, breakfast potatoes coming here. Looks like they're switching out the eggs, bringing in the fresh scrambled eggs. Not bad. We'll get some of that later, I'm thinking. And then they also have breakfast flautas, so egg, vegetables, and cheese, with the waffles and the French toast. And of course, they got the mini pancakes over here. I'm going to have a flauta. I like myself a flauta. Might have two of those. So there we are. Let's put that back. Nice and easy. All right, just make sure you don't cross-contaminate and then move on, we move on. And that brings us back to the bagels and lock station. So let's go ahead and check out the dessert options. So coming back from where we started at the beverage station, we actually just turn right around from the carvery and then we go out and around the rest of the buffet to come check out the desserts. So Wonder Woman's going to be rather cross with me if I don't get at least one dessert. So let's have a look at the desserts, see what options they have. Uh, looks like they've got some uh, some sherbet, it looks like it, or some sort of dairy treat, Hawaiian sauce. Not familiar, you're going to have to let me know if you guys know Hawaiian, Hawaiian frost in the description box down below. In the description box down below. And in the comment section, I have not eaten. So I am a little off, guys, so sorry to say. Uh, looks like they got apple cobbler over here that does have nuts in it, so if you're allergic, you gotta watch that. And then they have other little toppings for other things, it looks like. So there's the apple cobbler over there, and you can put sprinkles on it for some reason. I assume this is for the ice cream. Uh, they got peanut butter cups, watch that if you're allergic to peanuts, obviously. Mini NMMs, and then the chocolate chips, and it looks like they got some Heath bar over there, or maybe some mashed up Butterfinger. And then as we come around here, it looks like they got some lemon meringue minis and then chocolate mousse, tiramisu. I might actually come back for a tiramisu. And then, oh, it's that, uh, what do we got over there? They're putting out some more desserts. Got chocolate cupcakes, vanilla cupcakes. Uh, there's a coconut pineapple uh, little pie over here, too. That's pretty cool. Oh, this is what it is. This is a coconut pineapple uh, panna cotta over here. All right, and is that green tea? Oh, are those green tea back there? Oh, I'd love a green tea. Pistachio. Pistachio, beautiful, thank you. Love it, love it, love it. And then they got the strawberry shortcakes over here too. You know what? We're gonna grab ourselves a strawberry shortcake because that is self-contained. We don't have to touch anything else, so that's lovely. We're just gonna do that for once. And then we got the red velvet cupcakes and then the walnut brownies too. Oh, so many sweets over here. Pecan tarts, vanilla custard, 
raspberry cheesecake. I can already taste the diabetes here. And then a whole bunch of cookies over here too. And if you come back around, looks like they've got some uh, turnovers here. Uh, I wonder if they're, uh, I think those might be cherry turnovers. And then you have the Cinnabons and then the muffins. Because you gotta have the muffins. You gotta have the bread. No buffet is complete without enough bread to fill you up. And then when you come back to the beverage station here, this is the beverage station on the opposite side. So there you go, you have that option. And then if you're really feeling it, the bar is over here. So normally the bar actually included, um, actually I wonder if the bar does still include unlimited beer and uh, wine. I'll have to go check. I'm gonna run back and check and see if it actually costs us money. But right now let's go ahead and bring this back to the table. And uh, yeah, we'll start chowing down a little bit. Okay, so median impressions. The ham was pretty good. I was very disappointed by the flautas over here. The roast beef was not nearly as good as I thought, and the turkey dried out fast, so that's a pity. Uh, the desserts are actually pretty great. I still had uh, most of the strawberry shortcake. It's very carby, very sweet, so I can't quite finish it, but it was good. And this pistachio, this pistachio, like uh, cherry, like cherry preserves, blueberry preserves, little thing over here. I had it on camera. This was delicious. I'll probably go back for another one of those. Those were amazing. All right, guys, and this was it for the second round over here. Bacon was some good stuff. Uh, not quite as crispy as I wanted it, but that actually wasn't too bad. Uh, the uh, wow, the the waffle was just so sad. It was like it's super kind of sticky and doughy, but it's also really dry too at the same time. Like it wasn't cooked evenly, and it's a real shame. Uh, same problem with the pancakes over here, real, real hard on the edges, soft and chewy in the center and all that is not right. The French toast was alright, but you know, at that point I was pretty carved out, but the, uh, the good news is the fruit was good, bacon was good, and that's, uh, that's how that worked out. Well, Spinners and Sharks, not much else to say about the MGM Grand Brunch Buffet. It was an experience and we had some edible food with a serious lack of value. I can only recommend a couple of dishes and the more ambitious ones like the stuffed peppers and roast beef were just a letdown. Stick with the omelets, the carvery, desserts, and dodge anything else that isn't fresh fruit or vegetables. The MGM Grand Brunch Buffet earned a 2 out of 5. Alright Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's review and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Before we go, let me just take another quick minute to shout out our Patreons. Guys, it means the world to me that you choose to support me and the channel this way and help keep me independent of the YouTube algorithm. If you want a more direct hand in keeping Ace of Vegas growing, I've put a link to the Patreon in the description box down below. What do you guys think of the MGM Grand Buffet? Do you think it's a good deal, or are you just planning to avoid it? Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spending you guys.